I am a heterosexual white male, hardly a poster boy for the disenfranchised. But everybody has something, don't they? There's not one single person in the universe who thinks he or she had the same advantages as everyone else. We're all in a minority. I have never once referred to myself as disabled, and I'm sure I never will. As my disability is quite mild, I inherited a deformity of the hands and feet from my father as he had from his father. The condition is called syndactyly, from the Greek digits together. It causes fused and twisted bones. As a child, I went through seven major surgeries to give me more mobility in the fingers and the ability to walk. What did this condition prevent me from doing? Not a lot. Sports are a problem. I can't throw a ball very well. Music was out. And yet, it wasn't. That is, I had to go to the gym and throw balls and sit through music classes trying to play the ukulele. It was the 70s that gave us ukuleles. Anyway, I was not allowed to sit anything out or think of myself as different in any way. My father and his father had both grown up with twisted and dysfunctional hands in a macho and militaristic culture where claiming disadvantage was simply not done. It was assumed there that everyone had a disadvantage. Everyone probably did. I wasn't particularly targeted for bullying. The kids with darker skin or with squeaky voices probably felt more vulnerable than I did. If anything, I was a little more aggressive because of my flaw. In high school, I was a posy punk rocker with torn t-shirts, a defiant anti-conformist. I was perhaps a bit of a bully, like the stereotypical little guy who wants to fight everybody. And girls? Girls like confidence. They claim to like my little flaw. You might even say it gave me a certain cool factor. In fact, I have been for several years with a woman who loves me. And guess what? She's pregnant, and here's my dramatic coincidence. The same week we found out, my father, my most important role model, died suddenly. And sure enough, my unborn son carries the family trait. So are we going to bring into the world a child who will no doubt suffer from pain and trauma, from surgery, and from a sense of difference, possibly even disadvantage, for the rest of his life? Well. If he's like my dad, and if I can be as good a father as he was, he'll have more advantages than disadvantages. And everybody, everybody in the whole world has a disadvantage. Nobody really fits in.